It's like, look what I have and look what I got and look what you don't have. Hi everyone, my name's Hibber to those that don't know me and I'm here to help you channel fearless self-growth. Today we're going to talk about a subject that I have spoken on before and if you haven't watched the first video on this then go give that a watch. So manifestation has been a trend throughout the past few years and I was on that trend. I've done manifestation related videos on here in the past and realistically it has been now been changed into a tool for people to make money have fame and to just like make money off you guys off me whatever it's got out of hand we've separated ourselves from actually what manifestation should be i see influencers on here literally posting full-blown how to manifest videos i see people releasing books about manifestation it's such a privileged thing to just talk about and just normalize and just act like everyone can do this i think especially when i'm filming this the world is going through a lot right now there's a lot of war zones and a lot of difficult things happening right now i'm not going to get too much into the specifics but i feel like if those people manifested they wouldn't manifest to be in a war zone do you know what i mean and i feel like it's such a first world mindset to think that you can just vibrationally attract things into your life through mindset and daily practice in a way which manifests your dream job your partner your home it's basically like a turn into an elitist thing where it's like look what i have and look what i got and look what you don't have there's so many influencers that literally go i'm a manifesting machine these are literally people who are either born into some sort of privilege and then they'll say no i had a really tough childhood i've actually done this all on my own and it's like well not really you've had some sort of privilege whether it's opportunity living in a first world country being a white male for example we can use anything as an excuse but i guess the point that i'm getting at is when people talk about privilege people talk about all these things that they have manifested often it's to do with some sort of privilege that they have when you think in the grand scheme of things all of us who have mobile phones or are able to watch youtube you guys watching on here we are in the top like whatever percentage in the world who has the priv privileges to do these things when you think of the amount of people that live in uh, third world countries poverty war zones disabled people anything i also feel like we really need to be careful with who we listen to you need to be careful with even listening to me because everyone bases what they say on their own personal experiences so to watch someone talk about manifestation and it's like a 22 year old girl and she's talking about how she manifests everything well wait till you're like me in your 30s and things start to get more serious and life is cyclical and this is something that is common knowledge life is cyclical we have our ups we have our downs we have our contrast we have our yin and our yang and our dark and our light and it's not all just i'm gonna manifest so what is the remedy to this influx of information that is coming your way and this i manifested a tesla and i manifested my dream man like there's literally people talking about how they manifested someone and then it turns out that they met them on a dating app well that's called action that's not called manifestation yes it's hard to find your person on a dating app but you still took that action now i've kind of got the basis of what i believe the manifestation era has turned into i'm going to talk to you about what i think is a positive side of things so there is something called divine action you have this thought in your head of i should start a business i should travel to this country i should download a dating app and that is divine action which results in one of your manifestations so you have to actually obviously take action now where all of this kind of like magical stuff ties in the high vibration whatever i do believe that high vibration attracts high vibration people and situations and gets more results so when i'm really negative in life i leave the house less when my vibrations are low i attract lower vibration people my standards are lower so i don't think it's just manifestation or specifically vibration it's more just when i have a lower energy I accept lower things, basically. 
So how do we heighten our vibration? So we meditate lots, we spend time with ourselves and really focus on cleansing our minds so that our actions are based on what we truly want in life and not just adrenaline and what life throws at us. Taking those directed actions and decisions to create that better life for ourselves, that manifestation. When I have been in a lower vibration, I've been less on the ball with who I befriend and who I make friends with and I have attracted lower vibrational people. I mentioned it in a recent video about something awful that happened to my cat and there is reason to believe that this person I befriended when I moved country they might be to do with what happened to my cat and I really can't prove that right now. Not something I want to talk to about too much because it's highly traumatizing. I remember just being in a lower vibrational state because I just moved to a new country and I felt very lonely so I was befriending people and they're also from different cultures in different countries so they're not people that I'm used to like the way that they act and talk and live is not what I'm used to with like my London friends for example you know I'm born and bred in London so definitely definitely attracted lower vibrational situations and was not manifesting anything good in life. However, once I overcame all of these hurdles, I am making better decisions. So I do believe in high vibration. So going back to the steps, which I think heightens your vibration. So number one, you meditate more, you slow down, you kind of get more in touch with what you really want from life as opposed to letting life just drag you and you unconsciously live on this earth with just being dragged through it essentially. Number two, focus on what you can control right now. So me going for a long walk will heighten my vibration. I have not been in a place where I wanted to go to the gym in three months. And that is because of what happened to my cat three months ago. It was very, very traumatizing for me. So now I walk up to 10,000 steps a day. I listen to a positive podcast, which also heightens my vibration. So number three, listen to positive, uplifting, high vibrational content. And do not listen to the low vibrational content, okay? So we've got meditation, exercise, listening to high vibrational content, deleting any negative vibrational information or whatever. So if you're listening to murder mysteries or whatever and it's dra draining your energy, if you're listening to the news all the time, really be conscious of what is dragging your energy down. If you find that you're in a lower energy also, I might recommend that you do what this really um, lovely YouTuber called Hayley Gamba is talking about, which is baddie hibernation, where you literally hibernate and you work on growing yourself, your health, mental health, physical health, emotional health, whatever, and you hibernate and then you come out in summer like this amazing version of yourself. And I put a quote, which I'll add here, kind of reflecting that where you hibernate and you come out a better version. So if you're in a really low vibrational state, then I highly recommend you separate yourself a bit from your current situation in life and scenarios, go into your baddie hibernation as Haley Gamba likes to call it. Once you've gone into your hibernation and your vibration feels higher, that's when you can have some fun in life. You can go on those dates, you can make those new friends, you can go and travel, you can explore, you can do whatever. I mean, I'm traveling right now, but I was in a low vibe, and that was booked like when I was in a lower vibration. So obviously traveling can increase your energy levels and just make things, you know, heighten your vibration essentially. Once you've passed through the hibernation stage and you're out and about and enjoying your life, then channel in fun. Fun is what raises your vibrational levels higher, but also opens you up to so many new experiences because we take things less seriously. Life is so short and one of my young family members passed away recently. It just makes you realize how fragile life is and this family member passed away unexpectedly. You just have to cherish the moments that you have and as difficult as life is and as difficult as the planet can be, we have to make the most of what we have making the most of what you have and having a higher vibration already feels like you've manifested which in turn creates better situations and better situations which makes you your peak manifestation period in your life okay really be careful who you listen to fully fully recognize that masses of people on social media literally want money 
and fame and popularity and all the things and so really be conscious of who you listen to and really have your wits about you with what information you take from people okay the books you read to the youtube channels to what i'm saying to you really pick on what works for you so branching aside a little bit from that you will find certain people who you may watch or be influenced by in your life or online they are going to talk to you based on their prejudices. So you will have like a 22 year old YouTuber talking about manifestation at 22. And then you have a 35 year old who was like, I was living my best life in my twenties, but now I'm in my sleepy slow stage and I have to kind of reset my life, which is kind of what I'm going through. I now I'm in my mid thirties. I decided to start fresh with everything. And that was a personal decision of mine. I literally had businesses since I was 14. I made consistent sales. Now I've had to stop my businesses and start from fresh. That makes you go back down again from a financial standpoint and a security standpoint and, and the life that you built for yourself. It's all good and well that maybe you watch me when I was in my 20s and I was telling you I manifested everything, the boyfriends, the money, the jobs. And I really had like a really whirlwind, fun, something new every day kind of life in my 20s. And I really did manifest all sorts of experiences and I've talked about them in previous videos. There'll be other people that you listen to who are literally like a male who talks from a male's perspective. Like I was watching Dan Co, which is another YouTuber that I really like, because I watch other YouTubers to get inspired and educated because I really like the community on here and the really interesting people you find on YouTube. And he was talking about highly influential people and he listed like five or six people and they were all male. He talked about Eckhart Tolle. Who else did he talk about? Lots of just people that he's inspired by. And it was just so interesting how I'm listening to this guy, Dan Co, talk about privilege and um, status, high status people. And everyone he listed was male and predominantly white. So it was interesting to say the least. So to kind of sum up what I'm trying to say to you guys, because I feel like this can be like a 10, 20 part subject is number one, don't think that manifestation, just imagining things and thinking things are gonna get you what you want. On the contrary, it will hold you back because you're focusing so much on the wrong things. And you might find that five years will go by and you didn't get the things that you wanted and then you you kind of lost that hope and that drive, number one. Number two, with high vibrational actions from today, you can see improvements and manifestations come through from today. Number three, putting life into perspective, realizing how short life is, realizing how lucky we are, realizing how lucky we are if we're not in like a horrible living environment and whether it's your home or your country or whatever limitations you may have, your health, whatever it is, being grateful if you don't have to deal with those things. And finally, just really being careful with what you absorb, what information you take in, who you listen to, and just want you guys to know that I really love you all and I really hope this video helped you and I hope it's opened your eyes and given you more consciousness in just learning about better ways to achieve what you want to achieve while simultaneously listening to your own heart, your own mind, your own soul and using your internal compass to guide you towards getting those things you really truly want in life in the fastest way possible. That's it for today, guys. I really hope you like this video. I am currently working on a rebrand of my new business. Well, a branding of my new business, which is a spin-off from my previous business. So keep up to date with that on my Instagram. I've got a new brand name. It's a really cute name. It's called Solestial. So it's all about fearless self-growth and tools and tips and tricks will be shown on there as well. As usual, see you at my next video. Sending you love, light, and good vibes.